Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. My name's Ed Gasket, and today we're gonna tackle what it takes to restore a piece of metal that's been exposed to rust and corrosion, pitting, grease, and grime. We'll be using two techniques today. The first, an acetic acid or a vinegar bath, and the second, a bead blasting with glass beads. Let's go check out our pieces of metal and see what we have to work with. So what we have here is the rear drum brake arm from a 1984 Honda ATC three-wheeler trike. You can see the arm itself is pretty corroded, but not as bad as the shaft and spring. So we'll be using 5% standard distilled white vinegar. It's accessible at every grocery store and Ziploc bags to hold the parts in the vinegar. I'll have gloves available, but it's unusual to be sensitive to vinegar on your skin. So we definitely want to disassemble all parts into their simplest form before we put them in the bag with the vinegar. This will ensure that we have maximum surface area contact between the corrosive surfaces and the vinegar itself. We'll leave the shaft and the spring together. We want to put all this stuff within a plastic bag and then we add the vinegar. We just want to make sure that all parts are covered after we seal the bag up. And literally within a few seconds we already see bubbles coming off the metal. I was a little bit nervous that the parts we put in the bag with the vinegar previously were just dirty and not rusty enough to make for a good experiment, so I took these exhaust shields off of the trike and I put them in a bag with vinegar overnight as well. So after 24 hours I removed all the parts from the vinegar and let's take a look at the shaft first. It's really not that clean, especially the area at the bottom here where the shoes make contact. The splines at the top look really nice, but then in the middle, check out that spring, really corroded and still rusty. The arm did very well. Both sides appear to be very clean. As I flip it over here, you'll see just at the top a bit of corrosion and rust remain. Otherwise, it looks really good. As for the hardware, the hardware came out nice as it usually does. And we'll check out our heat shields in a moment. But how about this nut down here? Look how clean that is. And then our brake shoe positioner doesn't look good. Now the bottom of this heat shield on the right came out really nice. Not much rust remains, but as we advance north, you'll see there's still a lot of pitting and corrosion on this heat shield. Now it's much better than the left, but remember, we're shooting for restoration quality and this will not cut it. So it's definitely time to put this stuff in the media blaster. Let's hit it with some glass bead and see how we do. So any of the corrosion that remained after soaking in the vinegar seems to come right off with the glass bead. This heat shield as well as the shaft cleaned right up. The spring got really clean as well. The shoe positioner cleaned right up, as did the brake arm. There wasn't much left in here in terms of corrosion, but it came right off. Wow, guys, check out how clean some of these parts are after spending just a few moments in the media blaster. This shoe positioner came up so clean, we can now see there's actually a few cracks in it that might need repair before installation. Our heat shields came up really nice. A little bit of pitting remains, but a little bit of sanding followed by some paint and it should come up very nice. The brake shaft also looks really clean as is the spring that surrounds it. Well guys, there you have it. Now I'm sure that there's a time and a place for that vinegar wash technique in restoring old metal. But as far as that rusty old trike is concerned, we're gonna move forward with the bead blasting technique to get us ready for paint and powder coat. Now thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please on your way out, like and leave a comment below as well as hit that subscribe button so that we can continue to convince you that no matter what you're doing, you can fix it yourself. Mm -hmm.